Thank you. Distinguished EU delegation, fellow researchers, diplomats, grant recipients, colleagues and dear guests. I am delighted to have been given the honor of representing the recipients of Horizon 2020 awards in this 20-year celebration of Israeli association with the EU framework for research and technology development. The research funds that I have received have made a fundamental difference to my research career. And I have no doubt that this is true of recipients of the past and will be true of the new recipients this year and for recipients in the many years to come. There are many different schemes that are funded by this program. I have personally been involved in an FP7 consortium, have received an ERC starting consolidator and proof of concept grant from the Euro European Research Council, and the startup company that I co-founded received funding from the brand new SME instrument. Through these awards that I have received, I will try to describe the instrumental role that these programs have on European and Israeli science. I will focus mainly on the ERC program, both since I am most familiar with it and because I strongly believe that its impact has been tremendous, especially in Israel. For me, as an academic researcher, the ERC grants have had the most influence. The ERC program is, in my opinion, a funding scheme that is radically different from most others that I am familiar with. ERC grants are awarded to, to scientists with demonstrated potential in order to enable them to carry out groundbreaking research. Recipients are given very large funding, between 1.5 to 2.5 million euros, and are basically told to run. There are no predefined and rigid deliverables that limit the direction the research takes us, and the amount awarded to a single PI is far greater than in most other programs. These combined form a strong statement that we believe in you and the research program that you proposed, go and do your best. This infusion of confidence in a young researcher, as well as the funds to chase your dreams, has a transformative effect. Researchers are continually looking for the right balance between working on problems that are safe, but not too easy. ERC grants help researchers make the plunge and attack those less safe, more risky, and far more exciting problems that can have a much larger and more far-reaching impact. First and foremost, being awarded an ERC grant is recognition that you should be trying for those high-risk, high-gain problems, and this has a strong positive effect. Furthermore, it is no secret that research costs money, and dreaming big is dangerous if you're not sure that you'll have enough money to go the distance. ERC funding provides five years of research security, this is a relatively long period of time and is long enough to aspire to ambitious goals and be freed of the task of continually searching for funding. In some sense, I would say that the ERC grants are the most researcher-friendly grants available. They are large, flexible in management, there is minimal reporting, and they are designed to enable a researcher to maximize his or her potential. In my field of cryptography, I've seen a transformation in Europe over the last five to seven years. During my PhD studies, there was no doubt that the main center of research was in the USA, and Europe lagged behind with a few isolated great researchers spread out over the continent. However, today Europe is a strong force in both theoretical and applied cryptography. This very fast growth was facilitated in no small part by the ERC program. I have many colleagues in Israel and Europe with ERC grants, and they are building up large research groups, have obtained far greater visibility, are attracting excellent graduate students and postdocs, and, many, and much, much more. The result is a Europe that is strong in the field, and certainly not behind the USA, and in my opinion will overtake it soon. I would also like to note that for the ERC, all research fields are acceptable. I have colleagues in the USA that find it very hard to obtain funding for theoretical research, and so have no choice but to move into other areas they are less passionate about. A strong research community has the entire spectrum from theory to applied, and Europe is achieving this spectrum via their ERC funding policy. 
in order to further demonstrate the importance that the ERC and this program places on the full spectrum of research areas, it's worth noting that while ERC grants can be awarded for the most theoretical of work, there is also encouragement for the other extreme. The ERC proof of concept grant provides 150,000 euros to invest the commercial feasibility of research results from ERC grants. This grant fills in a problematic gap in commercialization efforts in, my, in universities. During my ERC starting grant, I realized that the results we found could be commercialized in a completely different application domain. Armed with scientific results and a PowerPoint presentation alone, there was no way that I could obtain funding. Venture capitalists today wish to see far more advancement on the commercialization side. And this is challenging for researchers who wish to continue in university, or at the very least are at a stage in life where living for six months in someone's garage with no income is not feasible. The proof of concept grant that I received enabled me to carry out market research, set up a professional looking website, finalize a prototype, and be ready to approach venture capitalists. Without it, there would be no dyadic security. At this stage of the process, it also became apparent that venture capital is not always best suited for, company, for funding companies based on deep research. The new SME instrument provides significant funding for small and medium-sized enterprises and is designed to help small companies grow. In the startup company that I co-founded, we received the SME instrument phase two award a little before finalizing our first venture capital investment. This large award provided us with a boost that was crucial in getting us to the stage of making significant sales and growing the company. However, beyond the financial award, the SME instrument provides invaluable business coaching, networking opportunities, and much, much more. It is an extraordinarily well thought out program that goes far beyond just financial support and can provide a necessary boost for the European startup ecosystem. I truly feel deep gratitude to those who place their confidence in me by awarding me these grants and can only hope that I will prove myself worthy of that confidence. In the name of the awardees over the years, I wish to thank all those who have enabled us to pursue our scientific dreams. First and foremost to our families for all their support and for having to put up with years and decades of us being continually distracted by our science. To all of our research collaborators, our advisors, mentors, colleagues and students from whom we continually learn and are enriched. To our universities or other institutions for, for providing support in obtaining the grants and managing them and, and for providing us a place to carry out our research. To ISRD for their work on the program level and for support in coordination and grant applications. Last and most importantly, I would like to express my deepest thanks to the EU Framework Program for Research and Technology Development for their foresight in running this diverse set of programs and for implementing them in such a superb fashion. The ERC flagship program is truly transforming Europe and Israel, and I am both excited and honored to be a part of it. Thank you.